Hey all you viewers, my name later, how are we doing today? I know, as you can see by the green and white box, we're going to take a look at something by CRKT. But when I got this in and that was there like that, it made me go, oh, what did you repackage? Because, you know, when you're pressing down, you're having a problem seeing what's really supposed to be in there. But okay, we'll get to the blade in a second. As you guys know, CRKT loves to put in propaganda for something I may want you to buy. So there you go with that one. But today we're going to take a look at the prowess. Now, it is a very older design by CRKT. What I mean by that is it's no longer listed on CRKT's website. But because it's a Ken Onion design, and Ken Onion is one of my favorite bladesmiths, I really wanted to bring this here on the channel. I like the way when Ken designs stuff, as you can see the intricate swoops and how he takes into effect contours and everything else, they just seem to fit beautifully right in your hand. The satiny finish on the black, it, it just looked nice, and I went, it's a great addition to a collection. The one thing that I hate, though, and I don't know why bladesmiths do this, why are you going to put a lanyard hole in the bottom when your pocket clip's on the top, and it's only one position? That just defeats that. Especially when this sits low in your pocket, makes that useless. Just my two pay, you know, pesos, whatever you want to call them. But let's get into the stats and the fun stuff like we usually do. It's got an overall length of about 7.75 inches. The blade is 3.75 with a cutting surface of 3.25. Close, it's about 4.375 and it has a very minor weight to it of 4.50 ounces. Now it is done in the drop point style with a plain edge and a flat grind. The blade steel is OS 8 and like I mentioned, it does have a satin finish. We do have a stainless steel frame with a liner lock. And what I like is you have a flipper open with the IKBS system. So it comes out of there pretty good and pretty smooth, buttery smooth basically every single time. You can only carry this one way, which is tip down, right hand carry, as I showed you earlier. Now, we do have black glass reinforced nylon um, scales, but I really do like the little bit of texture on there. When your hands are a little wet, it feels pretty good and it gives you that really, really good grip. Like I made mention earlier, we do have a lanyard hole. And yes, this is made in Taiwan. I know, save the booming and hissing, okay? So, let's move on to some cut tests. If you're curious why I'm doing these cut tests, take a look right up here. There's a card for why I do those cut tests. First one we usually do, heavy-duty stock paper. Okay, not bad. I thought it was going to get a little worse, but all right. Let's see if we can get a curly cue. Oh, it was starting. Yeah, it was starting. Right there, it was going. The reason why I like to get those curly cues, if you guys are brand new to my channel, is anyone can just take a blade and go sharp. But if you take it slow, maintain the angle, and just pull slowly across. Hopefully, if you do it right, the paper should start to turn back in on itself, just like that. That just shows you no micro abrasions, none of that fun stuff, no problems on a blade, but we do have a bit of snow right there. It only seems to be on one side of the blade, so a little bit of stropping. Did I just see that? No, okay, it was just the paper. I thought we had maybe some chipping in there. But speaking of chipping, <laughs> let's cut a paracord and let's see what this is going to do to me today. Oh, I got to be done with this batch soon. I swear to God I have to. All right, pull test. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Slice. Right there. And yes, our friend, Mr. Ratchet Strap. Yeah, right through that, no problem. As we always do, let's take a look at that blade. Don't see anything weird. Between the paracord and the ratchet trap, seem to clean it up real nice. Okay, so I did the homework on all the fun stuff on this guy on 5821. It's now 51221 when I'm filming the video. I found it on Amazon and Blade HQ. Like I said, can't find it on CRKT. It's not even listed if you do a check by Ken Onion. Not even listed under anything he's got there. On Blade HQ, it's going to run you $34.99. Hasn't been reviewed. 
Over on Amazon, it's $68.73. Yes, I know it's really weird when Amazon is almost double blade HQ, but still. It's been reviewed 15 times for a 4.9 out of 5 star rating. All right, now we're at the most important part of the video and the most fun that I usually have. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. Do you think this one is a noise or an F-bomb? Noise or an F-bomb? I really want to know. I do like it because it's by Ken Onion. Proud to have it in the collection. I really want to get all of his blades that I can because he just does some amazing work to me. I know there's other people out there who view things differently, and that's totally okay. But for you first-time viewers on my channel, I just want to say, hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I know we do things a bit off here, and I'm very, very grateful for the viewing time you're giving me today. Now, for you first-timers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question is why? What can I do to earn your subscription? Right down below. Leave me a comment right down there. You never know how your suggestion may change the course of history of this channel. Now, after you've done all that fun stuff, take a look right over here. I know, I'm asking a lot, but all this is free. In a moment or two, a big channel symbol is going to pop up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It should bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and knocked that out the way, please, if you so choose, destroy the big bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Awesome question. Because that's going to let YouTube notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time that this channel uploads a brand new video. Sorry, got tongue-tied trying to talk my way out of it. Did I do a good job? <laughs> now, speaking of those videos that we love so much on YouTube, two will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to suggest, so I should say select from my current catalog, that they feel are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the CRKT Prowess. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope all of you are having a great day, a safe day, and I will see you in our next video.